And I was actually watching this live. I still watch H3H3 H3 sometimes. Like, sometimes it's just funny. Um, you can get into it. Like I, I've said, as far as his political, you know, leanings nowadays, it seems to me that it's forced. It seems to me that it is, it is, it is brought in pandering, not an actual belief, because he's had a past of edgy content, whether it's the in the, the, the he would say he would call people like nigger, F word, all that type of shit like that. He was doing that. Um, he has a bunch of questionable things. He did blackface. Like, he has some questionable things that people could easily go back in time and cancel him on. So I feel like for somebody like him, he understands the society. He understands the market that he holds. So he tries to overly pander, whether he attacks Jordan Peterson every episode, Joe Rogan, like th that's his niche. Cause he knows if he attacks those people, the people that he wants to pander to don't like those people either. So he's the good guy. Right. And if you remember earlier this year, I spoke about it. He took off episodes of Jordan Peterson because he was saying that Jordan Peterson is, you know, after I've looked at his ideas and the way that he acts and yada yada, I feel like it is it's harmful. So I feel the need to take down me and Jordan Peterson's episode. And this is what Jordan Peterson had to say to him, right? And this is what's happening in real time. He said, you will be held to a higher, this is the tweet right here. I want to I make sure I point it out to you so you know what I'm reading. You will be held to a higher and higher, uh, you will be held to higher and higher and soon impossible to maintain ethical standards by the very mob you currently wish to please. Then you will make a mistake. And they will devour you with glee. Please take this warning seriously. I liked you. So now that is what is happening to Ethan Klein and h 3 hc So they've already been losing subs because of whatever. He had the shit with Trisha Page. Maybe she got a lot of subs from that. But we're going to watch this compilation. Yeah, and I don't even think this is things. cancelable offense, right? I'm not gay. So I mean, I guess I can't really tell you what's cancelable and whatnot. But let's take a listen to why he's currently in the middle of a cancel fiesta he has some anal leaking <laughs> now we it is for preference he's speaking about james charles who's a a gay youtuber and somehow he he found a screenshot that james charles ordered diapers right adult diapers so now he's trying to figure out why would james charles have adult diapers and that's where uh this conversation really goes so let's take a listen well if he's getting blasted in the ass hard enough potentially <laughs> oh, no. you may need to wear a diaper and a lot of you will say like okay we've had a debate like I don't think vaginas increase in size from sex, but assholes actually do. If you have a lot of anal sex, you can actually blast open your anus. Frequent anal sex can result in a blasted open asshole. <laughs> Maybe he's just got railed real hard the night before. Uh, bot he's on. He's a power bottom. No, that would. It, That's an option. Power bottom. So th wouldn't that mean that the diapers aren't for him though? No, if he's on the bottom, he's getting railed. That he's an enthusiastic receiver. Oh my so god. So he's Power bottom is a guy who likes to wildly ride the peg of another dude. That's wild. <laughs> power That's is wild. a guy who likes to wildly ride the peg of another dude while he jacks you off until both have boner gasm. <laughs> Oh, no, that's yeah, some that wild shit. That's wild. On the history podcast. That's wild. I love you guys so much, but y'all really need some LGBTQT. Why? What did well, I... Shut up. That's what wild. What did I say wrong? Shut up. Colin, if you have a problem with my character... You got it right. I mean, you, you literally got it right. I power bottom one. Yeah. Shut up. You don't know anything about our sexuality anyways. The fuck do you know? That's true. Yeah. How dare you assume that none of us are... You know shit. LGBTQ plus. How dare you assume that? Okay, we have a call. See, you can you can you so. cannot joke around. So Matt, with the LGBT, you cannot play around. They don't give a fuck. They're just any any anything that make them feel a certain type of way, they will get you. And like I said, everything I've heard, I don't look at it as cancelable. Like, oh, he's he's gone too far now. But let's let it continue. What what have I got wrong? I know often you feel inclined to describe someone where you think they might be a bottom. And I, I think that that's often a misconception, that, like, bottoms may be passive or the well, I just the mean that he likes passive partner. I, I just mean that he likes to take it up the butt. And, but how can you know that about someone? Well, that just was just a theory the, about because he was he wears diapers. It's just a theory. Oh, let, no, there have been times. I think, I think one that comes to mind was maybe Jordan Peterson that you described as probably being someone that would be a bottom. That's okay. the only one I can think of off the top of my head. But, like, I've, I've heard you at times maybe say, like, oh, this is someone that might be a bottom. You can't always tell, like, who's the top, who's the bottom. So do, do you because find it offensive if I say it by being like, oh, he's, a, he's probably a bottom? Is that the problem? To make Absolutely. It's offensive. Um, because the gay men already, you have to, you have to deal with certain assumptions <laughs> about femininity and masculinity. I mean, it is funny, You're though. I just, You're I don't know. That, I think the problem is that the term You're an ally. is very funny to me. Sometimes, you know, these, these alpha men give power bottom vibes. I think maybe the joke is the dichotomy of, like, their their persona of ultra masculinity but then like the joke being that 
their power bottom? I think the ascription of like throwing out that someone is just a bottom, like because it it it, it it just ascribes Most people assume people. that if you are no, a effeminate gay guy, you're probably a bottom. Right? Like let's just let's just stop. Like let, let, can we please just stop? Like most people believe if you see a guy who's like doing the most that is gay, you're gonna assume that he's the one that's getting fucked. Right? I don't understand how that even is something remotely controversial. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe in the bedroom you do what I don't even give a fuck about all that. But maybe you are. But that's the point. Like, people in today's society will look and find anything to try to get you. And that's what Jordan Peace is trying to tell you. Hey, you doing all this shit? You trying to be Mr. Super Woke? You trying to appease and pander? That's why I don't do that shit. I just say how I feel. I don't hate nobody. That's just my prerogative. Whether it's the K through third grade teaching gender, whatever, whatever, I don't hate you. That's how I feel, big dog. I'm not pandering to nobody. I don't give a damn because at the end of the day, they're going to flip on you regardless. As soon as they feel any type of uh, – that's not even offensive. Like the same guy – let me just let me just let this finish because listen to this shit after this, right? It continues. For it, just be a little more conscious of it. I, or, or so, would you consider yourself a top or a bottom, or you don't do that? La the labels. And I mean, this is all peace and love, and with respect, even it's none of your business. But Politics. you have a preference, one way or the other. But that's another dangerous assumption too. Can I guess? Don't you tell me if it's right. If I guess right. How do gay men don't have? What do you mean? A lot of gay men don't have. Like y'all are something. There's something that you're doing in the bedroom, unless you're just don't have sex at all with nobody. Then whatever. No. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna get into it, Matt. But I, but we all know which one you like, you prefer. It's more, as long as you understand where I'm coming from. Then. To be honest, I don't really. Okay, to be on the bottom is to give. Bottom. It's to give. You know, it's a gracious thing to give and to receive like that. Power right? bottom is someone is a bottom who is just the more active bottom. Oh, okay, I see. So they'll 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 what ride it. They can ride a power bottom will ride it, where a regular bottom <laughs> will just kind of lay there. So, so the power bottom is someone who rides enthusiastically. Okay. You don't need diapers I'm or anything, right? But like, if you are a regular receiver of anal, he's sex, trying to be funny, are, but it ain't. It don't no, go over but, well. But if you were, does it? Does the poop pass like any differently from before? Is it all normal functions? Like, yeah. I, I get it. It doesn't leak out, but I wonder if it just comes out yeah. a little different. If you're on the bottom, it really doesn't helps. mean you're like a beta. You could be alpha and also still be on the bottom. Uh, Especially if you're a power right, bottom. But, just, but, but, but like, like theoretically, Jordan Peterson, if he was a power bottom, let me get to the end of this shit. So they got mad. But uh, whatever. What can you do? People say it was gross and disappointing. Saying you can guess if Matt is a tonight, he admitted. Yeah, of course you were right. And honestly, just so over these fucking people. Shut the fuck up! Shut up! And it's funny. a fucking entertaining show. Shut the fuck up! Someone says I don't know what's so up. My point in this whole shit is like you got to keep that when you when you are a person who talks for a living, you give your opinion for a living. You cannot be in the fucking business of pandering. You cannot be in that business. You cannot. You can't be in the business of, of pandering because as we see, as we know, especially in that whole whatever you call it, woke community, da da da, they will eat each other at any it's not a finger. You make a misstep, you might say something wrong, you might, oh, I didn't mean it like that. They will kill you, they will eat you, and they won't care about you. He lost ten thousand subscribers in a day. And probably to this point has lost more than that. Just because of that. Like making a joke about a gay guy, James Charles, somehow. Buying adult diapers, right? You bought adult diapers, whatever the fuck. We're just having a, a joke, right? That's what the podcast is. We're we're joking. Like, let's figure out why he is. He gets he getting fucked ass, whatever, whatever. And then it leads to like unfollowing, unfollowing, unfollowing of your fucking channel. So he tweeted, he was like, and he tried to do the apology. The apology shit's not gonna work. Just live your life, speak your truth, do what you gotta do, whatever, bro. To my LGBTQ fans, I'm so sorry for my comments on today's show. The sexualization of gay men in the grouping of tops and bottom is a stereotype that I'll be trying to unlearn. Apologies to the caller, to who I shouldn't have pressed inappropriately. Hope you guys know I always mean well. Bro, you're never going to win. Your apology does not matter. They do not give a fuck. Uh, you can see they'll still keep the... Dan's telling us to S, shut the F up and subscribe because we're too easily offended with something I won't easily forget. You are easily offended by everything. When you're a little bit, you know, um, effeminate as a guy, most people are going to assume that you probably, you know, take it up the butt. Now, it's your business, it's your bedroom, whatever, but you got to know that most people are going to assume that, and you probably do. That guy did that whole spiel about why do you do this? Why do, Just to say he do it in the body, whatever. You know, it, to, the, main, the main point of this is to just to say anybody who wants to get into any type of media where you talk for a living, don't pander. Because it ain't going to work. 
It don't matter who you're pandering to. If you're pandering just to black men, pandering to black women, gay people, trans people, white people, whoever, as soon as you say something they don't like, they will flip on you and then you'll be left with shit on your face. And they'll stop supporting you because at the end of the day, people don't really give a fuck about you. They come for a good time, come for a laugh or two, and that's pretty much all they want from you, right? So let me read some of the shit y'all talking about, man. I want to get to the comment. I want to see what y'all talking about. So anyways, uh, bro, what? LOL when trying to fit in into being woke goes wrong. I mean, that's how, that's how I go. Why does the man care if a man is top or bottom? That's some weird shit. I mean, he was trying to do like a thing. The guy had diapers. Why you got diapers? You're getting fucking ass. But like they did kind of drag it on. But anyways, they tried to cancel Drewski too after the skit he did. He even deleted on his IG. I saw that. He uh, should be... He should be happy. Too much sugar in that audience. <laughs> Anyways, um, they're trying to trans. Can't, I saw this, right? So the Drewski shit, I wonder why he deleted it. Was he deleted? Like, who was giving him pressure? I didn't really see anybody giving him pressure because the point of the skit, from what I've seen, is just to really show how some niggas be on that, you know, weird shit. Right, I don't think I don't know if they thought he was glorifying it or whatever. I think it's really just exposing that a lot of guys, when it comes to drinking around women, be on some weird oh shit. And if you haven't seen the clip, it's pretty much him with a girl. They're playing a game, right? And we just we as kids like this is how I'm, I'm sorry. This is like we got to live in reality. People, we do this shit, right? And I'm not even saying because I never did it with drinking. Right? I don't know about the drinking shit, but you have a group of guys and girls in a room. It's like high school shit, right? And you'll play Never Have I Ever. And it's like strip, never have I ever. And you know, they just fucking do dumb shit. It's not even like a guy thing. Girls do it too. Like if you're in a room, if it's six girls, six guys, guys will say, I never had a period. Obviously all the girls have periods, take off a shirt, right? This is all consenting people. And then the girls will say, never have I ever like had a penis. Like that's how it goes. Now, when it comes to the drinking shit, trying to give a girl a lot of alcohol and trying to get her too drunk, I ain't really into that type of shit. That's a whole nother level because obviously you trying to get it to a certain level. Give her a little shot and move on. You're being a little aggressive. You're being a little weird. But I don't know why he deleted it. Here's a plenty of skits that kind of detail the weird things that men sometimes do around women. So I don't even understand why that one was something that needed to be uh, deleted from his channel or deleted from his YouTube or whatever, Instagram, whatever he had it on. I don't know why that's something that he should delete because that's really what dudes be doing. And it should be something that, you know, brought to light. Like, y'all niggas is weird. Like, why are y'all doing this to women? Uh, I don't think he was glorifying, kind of just exposing men creepy. Yeah, that's what I'm like, he's not glorifying. He's just, that's what dudes be doing. And if you were a bunch of girls and you had alcohol involved, you probably shouldn't be trying to push your drink too much because that's when you get into that, that little rapey type of thing. You feel what I'm saying? So um, fake woke Twitter, Twitter was on his back. I don't get it. Felt like he was just making awareness. But he's just a funny, he's just a comedian. He's making funny skits, funny jokes. Like, he's a funny guy. I don't think, like... I think the people who really rock with Drewski didn't give a fuck. People who really watch Drewski's lives, who really watch Drewski's whatever, they don't care about shit like that. But the thing with social media is, even when you do, like, even the HDSC shit, right? I view this harmless, and this dumb shit, just, oh, he sounds effeminate, so he's a bottom. Whatever, harmless, whatever shit, right? They saying it's not harmless, I can't really debate with them. They're gay, that's they stuff. But with Drewski, like, the thing, like, I was trying to say is that Social media, if it gets onto the, the side of where people turn things into something that they're not, maybe he's looking at it as, hey, let me just delete this shit because these people will try to turn this into a, I'm glorifying this behavior. I don't want to lose brand sponsorships, partnerships, my careers, you know, taking off like a rocket. I just don't even want to be anywhere associated with them. Like, even though I know what I'm doing here, social media will make it into something that's not. And then corporations, they scary nowadays any sign of trouble, even if they know themselves deep down, like, oh, he's not really doing this, they'll pull out just to appease social media. When I don't even get that tactic because most of the times people still shop, people still go to Kohl's, Target, Gucci, all, they're going to go there. Like, you might have a dwindling small time in the, in the, in the immediate, but people on Twitter, I, I don't understand why this hasn't even been studied and realized so far, that people on Twitter – they are just latching on to something that they see is getting attention and they want to engage in whatever is being spoke about. And a lot of people just want to get likes, retweets and followers. They don't even truly believe what they say when they log off of the social media platforms. 
They just want to be a part of a, a, a entity and a unit. Like they just want to feel like they're a part of something. And that's why you kind of can't really back down on the shit that you're saying. 